Now I'm recording. Okay. Dad, me and Nicole are here. We just, we know that we feel your presence in this room. Nicole, I had a strong sensation that you're in here. If you're here with us, cross. They're crossing. Can you point to the direction that you're standing in? I just got a chill. Mm -hmm. It got real cold in here too. Now, um, if you found my mom's tennis bracelet that you have that, that you got for her, cross. Thank you. Okay. If the tennis bracelet was at Penfield Middle School down the street, go straight. If it was um, somewhere in the house here, stay crossed. Stand facing me so we can see the rods and what they're doing. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Is Pepsi with you in heaven or wherever you are? If Pepsi's with you, cross. Yep. Got it. That's awesome. Okay. Pepsi, if you're here, can you go could you go straight? Yeah. So my dog's here too. Yeah. Okay, Pepsi, could you point the dousing rods to where you're at? I would think it's right in front of you. It was that she, the dog standing in front of you? Yeah, but that's me. Why, do you feel a dog somewhere? Or? I feel like there's, I, I, I honestly thought you had a dog. I do have a dog, a cockapoo. Okay, well I didn't see that one. The Pepsi's sitting where you're at. Yeah. Okay, my other dog that died, Butchie. Butchie, if you're here, can you cross? Okay. Okay, Butchie, where are you at? Can you point? It's pointing in this direction. The Butchie's over by the by the shelves. Mm-hmm. Now, where's your father again? Can you, what's your dad's name? Paul. Paul, if you're here, point in the direction you're standing. Dad, point to where you're standing at. He's right next to you. Look at that. That would be in the direction of where the bed, this is where the hospital bed was. So that's actually pointing in the direction of the hospital bed. Now cross if you have something you're trying you want to tell me. Cross if you have something to show us. Wow. Okay. I wish I could know what he's trying to show us. Can you point um Ask him to, Paul, could you please point in the direction straight if you want us to help you? 
and cross, stay crossed if you are here to help someone else. Dad, stay crossed if you're here to help someone else. Go straight if you want us to help you. Yeah, he's here for you guys. Dad, go straight if you're proud of me. Wow. Oh, Alan. Yeah. Thank you. I'm start crying. <laughs> That's deep. Are you here to watch over your family? Cross if you're here to watch over and make sure everyone's okay. Look at that. That's deep. Thank you. Any other questions? Go straight if you're with your grandson, Matthew. Matthew's held. He's about nine. His middle name is actually my dad's first name, Paul. So, ask if he's here. Ask if who's here? His grandson, your grand, your nephew. He is. He is here. He lives. He lives here in the room upstairs. He's upstairs. Is he sitting? Well, he's in here with us now. What is that? So across. If you're here to protect your grandson. Dad, cross if you're here to pr protect your grandson. Yeah. yeah. It's actually pretty strong, too. Yeah. Can you feel anything? Yeah, I, I could really feel the energy going through me. Really? Yes. Have you ever felt anything like that before? No. Okay. So I know at the diner I was asking about my dad also, but I'm actually feeling it stronger here. Well, um, we must tell everyone that this is the room where your father passed away, September 17th, 1996, correct? Yes, this is the room that my dad passed away in on September 17th, 1996. The hospital bed was right over there. And this is the showroom. This is where the hospital bed was. Okay. Um, go straight if you feel like you were taken too soon. Go straight if you, Dad, go straight if you feel like you were taken too soon. Wow. And you can feel that coming through you because yeah. I just felt that. I just felt that he's upset that he died so young. He died at 39 years old. Dad, cross if you had unfinished business here on Earth. Thank you. Thank you. Dad, go straight if there's anything that I can do to live out your legacy and just to make sure you stay remembered or to or to, to finish anything you wanted you wanted to finish before you died. Go straight if I could finish it for you. Wow. Is there a way for me to find out? Yeah, I was going to say, um, could you please cross if I'm hearing he wants you to watch over your mother. Dad, cross if you want me to wa watch over my mom. Yep. He's worried about her. Go straight if you're worried about her.
Thank you. We're going to let you know right now she's going to be fine because Alex, Alan, my son's name is Alex. I'm thinking of his mother's son, but oh my God, I'm so overwhelmed right now with emotion. Can you feel like it's heavy? It's like the air got thick in this room. Mm -hmm. um, Paul, if you're here, we know you're here. If you want Alan to take care of her for, make sure that she finds somebody that can take care of her and your family, cross. Wow, she, is, she hasn't found anyone to replace him. Oh. Go straight if you want her to have love again. I'm gonna ask you again, Paul, go straight if you want her to have love again. Yeah, go straight if you want my mom to find love again. Maybe being selfish, it's his wife. <laughs> that would make sense. That's probably why she hasn't moved on either. They're holding on to each other. Mm -hmm. Dad, can you go straight if my mom was your soulmate? One's pointing straight, the other one's yeah. pointing towards me. Yeah, that's odd. Okay. Cross if you want her all to yourself. Dad, cross if you want my mom all to yourself. It's kind of stuck in position. Wait. <laughs> That's kind of cool. He wants her all to himself. Wow. Okay. Wow. So I know that when on the day that he died, they were gonna, that's when they were going to renew their wedding vows. Really? Yeah. And he died actually on... He died like on the day, he died, he was, they planned to, to renew their wedding vows on the 17th, the year that he died, on their anniversary. And so he died actually on their yeah. wedding anniversary. When they planned to renew, on the same anniversary, they planned to renew their wedding vows. Does he regret the ask him if that's the unfinished business? Dad, is that the unfinished business? Do you regret not renewing your wedding vows with mom? Go straight if yes. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch positions. Yeah, you sh you yeah. All right, Dad, if, you, if your unfinished business was that you didn't get to renew your wedding vows with mom, cross. Dad, cross, cross if you, um, your unfinished business was uh, not renewing your wedding vows with mom. Wow. Go straight if you wish that you did renew your wedding vows before you died. Dad, go straight if go straight if you um, wish you renewed your wedding vows with mom before you died. Oh my gosh, I'm just getting all kinds of crazy visions. I'm I guess I remember on the night. On yeah. the night that my dad died, my grandparents were here. Mm -hmm. My uncle John and my aunt Ann was here. Wow. And and uh, because my dad was having a high a high fever when he died too. Me and my uncle John went out to uh, the Seven Eleven to pick up some ice to pick up some ice to make it more comfortable. Mm -hmm. Oh 
Oh my gosh, I'm starting, all this stuff's starting to come back to me. Whoa. Yeah, it's deep. Yeah. Thank you, Paul. I know you're tired. So we're going to stop right now because the battery is being drained as well. Like, my arm is like, it's like the battery and the camera, it was on full, three. And now it's jumping from two to one and then back to two. So I don't know if the camera's failing because there's so much energy in this room right now. I know, I could feel it. Yeah. So do you have any other questions before we end this dousing rod session with your father, Paul? No, I don't. Well, thank you so much, Paul. It was nice to meet you and I appreciate you taking care of your family as well as you have and watching over them. They love you. I love you too, Dad. I'll, I'll take care of mom for you. Awesome.